morning. Plug in my little computer. Good morning, everybody. Look at this beautiful spoon my friend sent me. She sent me this chocolate drink to help with metabolism and energy. And she said, you take a tablespoon every day. And then she sent me this little spoon with it. Isn't that adorable? I hope everybody is wonderful this morning, this uh, glorious Thursday morning. I have an adventure today. My girlfriend Paulette and I are going to the Edgar Casey Center with her sister Nancy. And we're gonna go visit, maybe get a reading. Hello, my darlings. Um, and then go have lunch at the top of the Marriott Hotel, which is about 40, 40 stories up and um, has an incredible view of the Atlantic. So I'm very excited for my adventure today. Adventuroni. I um, hope everybody is wonderful and ready for some beautiful loving words from my girl. Okay. Someone recommended that I let people know who I am because sometimes when I go on Facebook, people don't understand exactly what it is that I'm doing or in the video. So my name is Reverend Lynn Laborde and I am a psychic, a medium and a full body trans channel. And uh, I have an incredible relationship with both Yeshua and his wife, Miriam, who everyone knew as Jesus and Mary Magdalene. They were, um, they were married. They had children. The story that's been told about her is far from the truth of who this remarkable woman actually was. She was his divine complement. And um, Jesus, Magdalene came to me in 2019 when I was having a really rough time in my life. And um, she really helped me, you know, like regain myself. And then Yeshua came to me in 2020. And then they both came to me um, and I started channeling both of them. And then they both came to me at the end of 2020 and said, would I be willing to do a journey with Magdalene going through the 365 lessons of A Course in Miracles? So that's the journey that we are well in the middle of. We're up to lesson 211 today, no, 210 today. Um, Uh, 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 could someone, I, I think we're at, I think we did 209 yesterday. Oh gosh, I don't know what day we are. I think we are in 210. Oh Lordy, let's take a quick look. Um, Jorg, if you're there, can you remind me what lesson we are today? We are 209 today. Okay, great. Really? I always thought that we're one day ahead of, I always thought we're one day ahead of the date. Yeah, I, it is 210 today. Okay, okay, good. That's what I thought. All right, thank you. So lesson 210, the beautiful overarching theme of the lessons right now is we are in a review section that says, thank you everybody, I appreciate it. Oh, I have these dear friends that are actually live with me on the video. We're doing a webinar on Zoom. So I appreciate all of you. Thank you so much. Um, and here we go. So the overarching theme is a review that says, I am not a body, I am free. I am still as God created me. And you get to repeat that at the beginning of the lesson, at the, begin at the end of the lesson. And then there's the lesson that we're reviewing. So today we are reviewing lesson 190 and we're 210 days into a 365 day journey of going through the lessons of A Course in Miracles. So we've made it through almost seven months of doing this. It's incredible. It's been an extraordinary journey. I can't even tell you how much my life has changed. I changed where I live. I changed, I changed everything. Um, changed who I love, changed how I loved myself. And, uh, my father is in hospice right now and probably won't make it through the week. 
Um, and it's been amazing to be able to have the context of A Course in Miracles while, you know, I'm, I'm in the process of grieving and letting go and releasing and healing my relationship with him. So it's really been extraordinary. Okay, lesson 210. I am not a body. I am free. I am still as God created me. You can hear the iambic pentameter and that's really beautiful. Lesson 190 says, I choose the joy of God instead of pain. Pain is my own idea. It is not a thought of God, but one I thought apart from him and from his will. His will is joy and only joy for his beloved son. And that I choose instead of what I made. I am not a body. I am free. I am still as God created me. I like the word still was put in there because when we come to these moments of stillness, that's when we remember. At least that's the case for me, <laughs> because left to my own devices, my mind is a little mad. This is a beautiful Sri Yantra that a girlfriend of mine named Lynn also, she made me this gorgeous necklace, the Sri Yantra. So I'm taking it with me to the Edgar Casey Center today. Okay, let me say a quick hello to everybody who's with us this morning. Hi, Marianne. Hi, Angelo. Good morning, Jill. Hi, Yogi. Kim, hi, Lorianne, hi, Rosemaria, hi, Venki, welcome. My friend Jörg, who lives in Germany, says that his mother's nickname for him was Yogi. I think that's adorable. And he has a little bear called Yogi Bear. Hi, Lorianne, good morning, sweetheart. Okay. Let me bring through beloved Magdalene. Mm. Mm. Greetings, beloveds. Beloveds, the choice for pain, the choice for fear, the choice for sadness, the choice for anything other than the joy and the love and the happiness of God lives within a mind that knows no other options. It looks to, to it seeks and looks for what it must protect, but understand that the context or the need for protection is that there is danger, that there is something that will harm you, that there is something that you need to be protected from or against. And this is where the pain begins to manifest. And fear is always fear of pain. The pain that you perceive, the pain it is that you anticipate, that any being is afraid of feeling or any pain that is actually felt is merely the reluctance or the inability or the seeming lack of capacity. Remember, there is all illusion when you say, I cannot and I will not and I won't. But what happens is you say, I cannot and I must not experience this particular movement of energy. But beloveds, what you have forgotten in that divine and exquisite moment is that only love is real. Love is all there is. So what appears to be pain, what appears to be anguish, what appears to be loss is merely an unwillingness to remember that what you are truly experiencing is love. Different definitions of love, different aspects of love, but love nonetheless. So when you allow your hearts to come to the truth, to remember that you are and always will be and are still as God created you. You have to understand that God has created only a being of love, a being of joy, a being of light and a being of truth. So you can then reconcile how pain is not real. How pain was only ever meant to be a measure of the ego's response. Ego says, ah, I feel pain here. Oh, this makes me sad. Oh, this makes me hurt. Oh, the pain, the pain, the pain. <laughs> Through this, beloved, you can measure the extent or the length to which you have indulged, indulged the ego as being 
the source of your consciousness. And all you need to do, beloved ones, is come to stillness and allow yourselves to remember that you have fully engaged the mind of the ego rather than the mind of God. For the mind of God says, shh, come beloveds with me. Come with me to a place of stillness and allow the voice of God to speak to you. And the voice of God is a very quiet voice until you learn how to make it a louder voice. But it's a quiet noise that is sometimes very, very hard to hear over the din and the noise of the mind that says, oh, this ache, oh, this pain, oh, I am a victim of this, this was done to me, this is horrible, this hurts. Everyone around me is scared, I should be scared too. Beloved, you are the calm in the storm. You are the love of God incarnate. You are the one who comes and says, beloved brothers and sisters, hear me and hear me well. But there is one thing and one thing only that is true, and that is the love of God. Know that God is with you at each and every moment. Know that the presence of the divine lives within you. And you are the one that is meant to say to others, no, you have forgotten. Let me show you what love is. Let me love you into remembering the love that you are. When you smile at another, when you hug another, when you bring them your love, when you bring them your joy, when you bring them your happiness, it may elicit a fear response within them. It may elicit pain within them, for they have forgotten. But if you stand still long enough in your confidence, in your surety, in your knowledge, in your wisdom, in your understanding of the truth, you become infectious to them. This is the work that my beloved Yesha and I have done in the universe. We stand here and we say, beloveds, come to stillness, come to quietude, and allow yourself to know that the Father and I are one. And any sense of pain and any sense of fear and any sense of regret and any sense that causes you disturbance, that is the illusion. And you have the ability to change it in just an instance, beloved, by choosing love, by letting go of fear. There is a beloved being who called himself Jerry Jampolsky in this incarnational cycle. He says, love is letting go of fear. Choose love, beloveds. Let the fear go. Choose to know that at each and every instance, all you are ever meant to do is to remember and to be an expression of divine love in all circumstances. Know that you have my blessings, the blessings of my beloved. And truly we are all one and the same and we are always with you. The blessings to know and to remember Nothing real can be threatened. And nothing unreal exists. And truly, beloveds, herein lies the peace of God. Presence God, call upon the Holy Spirit to help you remember God. Holy Spirit, I ask you now to remind me of my divinity. Holy Spirit, I ask you now to remind me of my relationship to the divine. Holy Spirit, I ask you now to remind me of my own divinity, my own holiness, and let me be a beacon, let me be a light, and allow me to be an example of that with all beings. I forgive myself for ever having forgotten. And I ask you now to help light the way back to truth and back to love. Amen. Blessings to you, beloved ones. With joy in my heart, I would say to you, I will speak with you again. <sighs> hmm.
kind of soaking up the afterglow. Valerie, hi, sweet girl, welcome. Good morning, everybody, and thank you so much. Hi, hi, hi. I'm heading to 